Hello everybody, Josie here and I'm back today with a book haul, but not just any old book haul. All of these books that I hauled I've picked up from charity shops or Goodwill as you say in the States. Um, and what I love about picking up uh, books from there is that A, you're recycling, so I think that's a really good thing for the planet, for everybody really. They're a bargain, which is also really cool, and it's just a nice way to shop in my opinion. You have to really hunt and root around, and I mean I love getting books. This t-shirt, uh, Joy Division Unknown Pleasures, really cool t-shirt, actually quite expensive when you buy them new, and I got this for, I think it was five pounds from a charity shop, so I really love that, I love that kind of idea of rooting around and finding things and you might not know what you're gonna get. So, without further ado, let me get to some of the books that I've managed to ferret out from the charity shop. So the first one I've got here is a Marilyn Manson autobiography. Now I'm fascinated with Marilyn Manson, I grew up in the 90s, um, I do love his music, He's a very interesting man, and this autobiography um, it just seems like it's going to be really interesting. It's in conjunction with an author, so it's an uh, uh, authorised biography. And some of the photography in here is pretty damn cool. Um, there's some uh, drawings. It's a really, it's a really beautifully kind of presented book. And this cost, I think, was a couple of pounds from the charity shop, so I'm quite excited about that. And the next one I was super pleased to find is this one over here, Lost Boy by Christina Henry. Um, I have read Alice, I loved Alice. I've got Red Queen on my shelf up there somewhere to read next month, and I think I want to read Lost Boy next month as well. Uh, I want to do a bit of a Christina Henry spotlight, and this one is a retelling of uh, Peter Pan, the Peter Pan story. There's also The Mermaid, which I'm really hoping I might be able to find in a charity shop actually, that I can kind of read all of Christina Henry's books, so I was really excited to find that, and I think this cost a pound. Then the next one I have here, this was a, a say a title by, um, The Poison Tree just sounded really good, and then when I read the synopsis it is about two women, a student and an actress, and the actress is quite wild, quite bohemian, and the student kind of spends a summer in her world, and it sounds like they might be falling in love, so uh, it's also a thriller, so a bit of sapphic thriller, I love that, you know I'm here for my lesbian books, so this one sounded really good and I believe this cost a pound as well. Then the next one is actually a book that I read when I was a teenager, quite a young teenager, and it's called The Forest Wife. It's part of a trilogy, and I remember really loving this. It's basically a retelling of Robin Hood, but it focuses on the women in the story, which again is something I love. I love retellings, I love when things are twisted, and I love when the women become the heroes of the story. Uh, so. This cost 50p, actually I think I got three books for a pound, um, so this was included in it, and I saw it and it just brought back all that nostalgia of childhood and I thought I must pick up a copy and read it again and see if I love it as much as I did the first time. Then the next one was a really good find, it was Daphne de Maurier's Rebecca. I've been dying to read this, um, I'm including it next year as one of my classics that I'm reading because I'm trying to read more classics, and finding Rebecca you know, for, again, I think it was a pound in the charity shop, is is great. So I was really excited about that one. The next one, speaking of classics, is actually another classic, and it's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And what I loved about this is I love the edition. So it's, it's hardback, and it's actually a children's edition, but it's such a beautiful kind of lovely format, a lovely little book to hold, and I love this kind of hardback and the drawings. And I believe this is actually because there's two different versions of Frankenstein, I believe this is actually the original version, so I was quite happy about finding that, and again, a pound from the charity shop. And the next one I was super excited about is this one here, it's called Girls to the Front, and this is non-fiction, and it's about the right girl movement. So again, this was the early 90s, um, early to mid 90s, um, right girl was huge, um, something that I very much get on board with, and I think it'll be really interesting to read the true story, uh, what really happened, the kind of behind the scenes sort of thing for the right girl movement. So this 50p, I was I was so excited. I've actually been trying to find this in my bookstore and they this is out of um, print as far as I know. So I was delighted when I found that. The next one I was delighted to find, which again, I don't think you can actually order this anymore, is um, the true story of Cowboy Hat and Ingenue, and this is, is very short, um, it's very quirky, it's, um, I'll probably have to read some of the synopsis, it basically says it crosses the boundaries including those of sexual identity, culture and language, and it's about two women, they go kind of on a 
cross-country journey to find a lost child and they meet all these strange characters along the way um so this book is this was actually and i found this this fell out um when i when i had a look at this i don't know that the camera's picking that up but it's actually it got sent um by the author as a um kind of a pre pre-release copy to um review to whoever had this so again i paid a pound for this at the local charity shop the next one I'm really excited about is Carol. Um, I've seen the film. Um, I haven't actually read the book, which I'm really ashamed about. So I need to get this. Is, this is definitely on my TBR for early 2019. Uh, again, about two women falling in love uh, across kind of generational gaps as well. So one's a bit younger and the other woman is married. And also it's set in the 1950s. So you know, gay relationships weren't that prevalent back then. So this is, anybody that's seen the movie uh, will know the movie was amazing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how the story, how the original story actually happened in the book and how that compares with what they did in the film. Then the second to last one I've got here is this one. And this book is just stunning. This is Slade House by David Mitchell. Um, and I mean, this edition, I think this cost like 150. Um, look at it. I mean, it's hardcover. And then when you take this off, I think this is the most beautiful edition of this book I've ever seen. You get this kind of, look at it naked. Isn't it gorgeous? So you get that and you get this gorgeous ornate clock at the back. And this is just stunning. I could not believe my luck when I found this. Uh, I think I may have done a little whoop for joy. Um, but what a beautiful uh, edition. And again, I think it was like one, 150, something along those lines. Ridiculous. And then the last one, speaking of beautiful editions, I cannot believe I found this. It's this. It's Heartless by Marissa Mayer. And look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? You've got the red inside. You've got that leather bound hardcover version. This book is stunning. I've been dying to read this. I love Alice in Wonderland. Um, basically, I want to read as much Alice in Wonderland retelling as I can and I've been wanting to actually purchase this and it's kind of been in my bucket to purchase for quite a while just haven't got around to it and I happened to walk into a charity shop after work this was sitting on the shelf this cost me two pound I mean I just can you I mean have you ever this is gorgeous so um that's my haul from the charity shop um I would recommend go in there root around see what you can find they're amazing uh yeah and I'll speak to you soon have a good one bye